Joining us now, Chris Hull, Vice President and Loan Officer with Priority One Bank. Chris, good to see you, and thanks for coming on. Hey, thank you. It's good, good to be here with you today. So it looks like we got a big weekend plan with the Okatoma River Festival, the 34th annual. 34th. We're looking for a big turnout tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will stay away and we can have a great day tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, the one thing that I noticed in, in talking to uh, Ms. Shoemake with the Covington County Chamber and, of course, Mayor Mayor Jones, they're very excited, that's for sure. So it seems like it's a just kind of a neat collaborative effort. It's a big event for us, and we look forward to it each year. A lot yeah. of work goes into it. Yeah, and, and they've uh, got uh, – a big run schedule for tomorrow, lots of other events, food, music, right. so forth. Some forward. activities tonight. Get started tonight, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like the weather's going to hold off we for us. So. Yeah, and, and uh, the mayor and Ms. Shoemake also said that it attracts visitors from not only the, the Covington County, of course, and the neighboring counties, but folks come from uh, all over the place That's to come right. into there. They will. That's neat. And you get to showcase the, the great – Co Collins, Collins uh, City of Collins, County. Covey County. Absolutely. Pretty neat. Tell us about uh, Priority One Bank. <clears throat> well, we are very proud of our past history. The bank actually formed in 1905 down in Seminary, Bank of Seminary, mm -hmm. and uh, later moved to Collins when they wanted to be at the county seat and uh, started off with $25,000 in capital. <laughs> and I believe in 1907 I was reading that um, they had accumulated quite a bit of cash, about $8,900, and they decided they needed to build a vault in the bank building. <laughs> and so it's gone from there. The bank is um, currently in um, 12, uh, 12 municipalities, 12 areas. We've got 15 branches. Uh, we're soon to open uh, number 16 and 17 in Gluckstadt and Purvis. And we've reached a $1 billion mark in, in assets. So wow. we've had great growth, um, continue to have real solid and strong growth. And we appreciate the loyal customers that we've had over the years and continue to have. Absolutely. So, so uh, it's no secret, of course, that the banking industry has been in the press and the news quite a bit. Uh, large banks, regional banks in particular, uh, have, have had some challenges where do you guys fit into all that? Well, we're a, we're a truly a community bank. Okay. Um, even though we're a billion in assets, that's um, we're, we're proud of that fact, but we're a true community bank. We've got um, a different balance sheet than a lot of these regional banks and larger banks do. Um, most of our de deposits are insured. We have very few percentage-wise uninsured deposits in the bank, which sure. some of these banks ran into. And right. And uh, so we, our makeup is a, a different balance sheet. We've got strong liquidity, strong capital. So we feel real good about our bank and the position it's in. And uh, always look forward to serving our customers again in, in the locations that we have. Would you say that your management is uh, more conservative in, in that respect as far as managing their assets, their balance sheet, their well, risk? Yes, we, we are. And we do stay on top of uh, that's why you're in good shape. Yes, that's why we're in good shape. And we got a strong management team, executive management team. All of our um, members of the uh, of the bank are, are well educated. We put a lot of pride in that. Sure. I didn't realize when I came back with the bank or came to the bank that I would be taking tests. But we do a, a lot of training and uh, well, take tests. And so you know, it's it's always changing. Sure. Banking always changes, and you got to stay on top of things. We've invested a lot in technology over the years, and continue to try to be at the forefront of that to offer what's needed to our customers yeah and and that's a good point uh that there has been a lot of uh, really a technological revolution that's completely turned the banking industry <laughs> upside down in a positive way Absolutely. i believe but it's still no substitute for no, that face-to-face no, no, we're, we're, we pride ourselves on being a relationship bank and bankers and uh, easy access to us and we, we put a lot of attention to that um, when the banks um, came together and um, became priority one bank, changed the name, um, our focal point was our one priority is you. Okay. And so we really strive that and, and um, try to build on that and to earn that reputation with our customers. Absolutely. So Covington County is uh, got, got a large... Uh, agricultural industry presence. It does. In the, in the county. Does. Is that a lot of your customers? It is. And they, they need you guys, right? Yeah, I mean, right. that's the way that business works. Right. Exactly. 
And do you personally work with them, a lot of the loans so, uh, for yes. the farmers and so yes. forth? Yes. yes. I mean, they have to borrow the money typically in advance, and then they go invest that to create their their crop. Back on in, in our main office downtown, uh, we've got actually a note where back in the 30s, I believe 1934, there was a loan made for $60 on a cow named June and, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and <awesome>. Flossie. And, uh, <laughs> so, That's awesome. Uh, yes. Chris, appreciate you coming on. Thank you for the sponsorship, and congratulations on all your success and the way you take care of your customers. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Well, that's a wrap here in Collins, Mississippi at Woolwine Ford and Lincoln for the Okatoma River Festival in Covington County.